I definitely think that I'm a lot darker of a person as I'm wearing all black um, than I portray online. Ah. A lot of people think that I'm this crazy, fun, outgoing, you know, guy, which I am online, but every comedian has, like, a terrible story. Oh, God. It all started at birth. No, I think, you know what? I had a rough childhood, and, you know, I was morbidly obese as a teenager, and um, I dealt with a lot of depression, and, um, and, you know, I definitely had to use comedy to kind of make myself laugh, to make my family laugh. Um, when we were going through hard times. I think the way I get out of uh, the depression really is just to be creative. Anytime I'm starting to feel down, I make a video or I write a script or I, I come up with a concept for a show I want to pitch or I, I just do something creative and it reminds me that, you know, I can just bring myself out of it. Yeah, the first memory I have of kind of a bad childhood moment, I remember right afterward going over to my friend's house, putting on all her mom's clothes and basically doing a drag show at seven, which, you know, uh, isn't normal, but uh, but it made everybody laugh and it made me laugh, and that was definitely my first memory of that. This was before transgendered was a thing. This was pre-Bruce. I think nowadays it'd be a little different. I think they would have changed my name to Shauna, um, and I would have been an ugly woman. That's what people say to ugly people, <laughs> and you're no. funny. Uh, no, so yeah, that was definitely, you know, a lot of people were like, wow, telling my mom, wow, your son is crazy. He's, putting on all these weird shows for the neighborhood and he's making all these weird videos, but little did they know it would lead me to doing it online, oh, which wow. is even weirder. So my dad left when I was about nine. Um, they got divorced and my mom was a working, single working mom, so she was always gone. So it was pretty much just me and my brother and that's it. So there was a lot of weird, you know, chaos, a lot of wrestling, um, a lot of eating. And that's when I kind of picked up a camera and started making videos when I was like 10. And yeah, I lost like 150 pounds in like six months or something. What? No, like, what did I, people think of you? Or like, how did you perceive people? So I didn't talk until I was like 13, 14. You didn't talk? You were mute? You didn't talk. <laughs> Little things. I'd go, uh, you know, and that meant hungry. Um, or, uh, and that meant hungry. Um, so <laughs> that's about it. You know, I did have a rough childhood and, and um, I did have pretty rough upbringing as far as uh, my parents and what they were going through and um, there was a lot of drinking, a lot of fights and stuff and I definitely just clammed up and I was afraid to speak my mind and you know a lot of kids who grow up in that household they get fat, they get quiet and sometimes they get into self-harm or they get into all these really really sad things so I'm really happy that I found comedy because if I didn't I don't know where I would be no I show everything I show all the weird sad things I've tried to be completely real with the audience because that's what I wanted to watch when I was their age when I was a teenager I didn't want some fake version of what life was I wanted the real stuff because you remember yourself as that that's like you always kind of identify with how you were when you were younger oh I have complete body dysmorphia and this isn't a joke when I look in the mirror I see a 400 pound person you do cry a lot? Sad clown. <laughs> I cry so much. I think the one moment that I really cried on tour was uh, this girl came up to me. She was like 26. She was my age. And um, she gave me a hug and she was just like, you really got me through high school. And I was like, thank you. Um, and she showed me all the scars on her arm from all like, she was a cutter. And um, she got my initials tattooed where the cuts were. Because she was like, you know, this keeps, this makes me remember not to do this. It's not worth it. That really hit me. Online about yourself and your identity and who you are. My main thing is I hope people take away that it's okay to be the weird kid. It's okay to not fit in. It's okay to, you know, make crazy jokes and not keep everything in. And, you know, all my videos that I've made for the last eight years have been you know, trying to make people laugh that are having a hard time. So um, for me, I guess just laugh. Laugh and don't take life so seriously. All right, I love you guys. I also would molest kids on my street, but oh, I would molest kids on my street. <laughs> um, and that's another thing that they say that kids who are abused, abused do. Like I would like make kids on my street like take their pants off and I'd spank them, like do weird shit to them. And it didn't feel weird at the time, but looking back, I'm like, 
Ew. I was yeah. like the kid. I was well, a kid how, too. Your, were they your peers? Yeah. I was probably, you know, eight and they were seven or something. Right. And I apologized to them. I found them. Smile for the camera. Oh. Smile for the camera. On Facebook, I'm like, you sorry did? for molesting you. Did they they're remember? Like, like, one of them did. One of them was like, yeah, that's why my family made me stop hanging out with you. And I'm like, babies, 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 are the shit. Yeah, I fuck with the babies. Spread your legs, open wide, get some lube and shake your thighs. Here comes Shane Dawson, the guy knows how to blow your mind.